Good evening, and welcome to the Hopkins uh, March, or what we call Music in Our Schools Month concert. Uh, as a courtesy to the performers, please do not use flash photography and turn off your cell phones. We encourage you to enjoy the performance live rather than through a small screen. John Ritz from HGAM is up there tonight recording the performance. We'll, we will be able to make it available to you in a few short days. You'll be able to see it again on HGAM. Um, we owe John a tremendous thank you as he had pretty much perfect attendance as far as we can remember about coming to concerts since HCAM has started recording them for us. I'd like to take a moment and thank the HMA, Hopkinton Music Association, for their help for this evening's concert. And Kathy Curry, who uh, will be running uh, the HMA, received a bib from the Boston Athletic Association. And Kathy Curry will be running the marathon to support the Hopkinton Music Association. Um, there's a yellow slip of paper if you uh, wish to help help her along with her run uh, as far as donations. And she was out at a table tonight uh, selling bells and other Hopkinton assorted items. So please stop by, uh, wish her some encouragement as she runs for the Music Association, which supports um, all of these kids you see in front of you. Um, if you would like to be a volunteer with the HMA, please see any of the HMA volunteers that are out in the table, or in the lobby right now. We Hello. Uh, we'd also like to remind you that the MICA, which is the Massachusetts Instrumental Choral and Instrumental Choral Conductors Association, has their festival weekend, which we are one of the host sites, and that's April 5th through 7th. I would encourage many of you, if this is your first time with a child going through the music program, to come that weekend and listen to some of the amazing bands, orchestras, choruses that come through. Um, it, it will give you hope after, you know, like some of the squeaks and squawks you've heard uh, to what's, what will be happening with your children in the future. Uh, if you would like to volunteer that weekend and see some, you know, be around and help out, uh, one of our HMA volunteers, uh, Karen Sylvester, is the MICA coordinator, and she'd be glad we, she'd gladly take your name. Uh, we also like to take a moment and thank our building custodians, both here and at Hopkins. They do a tremendous job helping us get ready, prepared, and packing all of this up tonight. And finally, uh, a big thank you to all of you. We are very lucky in Hopkinton over the years. The reason that we can have um, this sea of children perform for you tonight is through your support and your support over the years, coming to concerts, continually helping the children want to enjoy music and learn to love music. Uh, your support is absolutely appreciated by us and thank you very much. And now, the Hopkins Chorus under the direction of Miss Jessica Martin. My name is Jessica Barkin and I have the pleasure of working with all of these lovely fifth graders in front of you. They've worked really, really hard for the past couple of months um, learning specifically about balance and blend as we're starting to sing in two-part harmony, which is really challenging for them. Um, so I know they're really, really excited um, to show you all the growth that they've made uh, since the December concert. And I'm going to turn it over to Jenny. Welcome to the fifth grade concert. Our first song is called Mr. Frosty Winter. We work a lot on trying to balance and blend the two harmony. At the end, listen carefully for the coda or the special ending in this song.
Next up, we will be singing Sing Out a Joyful Song. We would like you to listen for our two-part harmony in crescendo. A crescendo is a dynamic marking where we will gradually get louder. Our crescendo will be in the B section of our song.
Good evening. Thanks so much for coming. My name is Kayla McDonald. I'm the director of both the fifth grade orchestra and the fifth grade band. Uh, the students are very excited to perform for you this evening and show off their remarkable progress. In December, we were working on holding an instrument, sitting with an instrument, and playing simple tunes all in unison, so all together at the same time. Now, we've come a long way. The students are now reading and performing full-length band and orchestra music selections. They play in parts, including rounds and full score arrangements, and they play a variety of bowings, articulations, and dynamics. I'd like to thank a few people. Uh, I want to thank Mr. Hay, where is he? For taking the time he comes down and assists with rehearsal, his general guidance as our subject matter leader. I'd like to thank my colleagues, especially uh, Ms. Catherine O'Toole, who's here. She comes down, she gives it, where is she? She gives extra time. She's playing the cello with us tonight. Um, and I really appreciate that. Also, uh, Mrs. Bolello and Ms. Babson for ongoing incredible support. We're so lucky to have such wonderful administrators. Uh, I'd also like to publicly recognize, even though they're not here, on camera, Kathy Cameron and Colleen Reardon, who uh, take on band and orchestra duty, which is even more feared than lunch duty in our school. So I want to publicly thank them. And uh, finally, there's some students, some eighth graders and high school students who came to help today. We have a, a huge number of them, and it's really wonderful. Um, I'm sorry if I miss anybody, because I just didn't see you in time. Uh, Molly Rancourt's here today. Sreya Ravi's here. Christina Gomez Donate. Megan Abbott. Cameron Franks. Michaela Scanavan, Julia Budden, Liam Rock, Maggie Franks, Anna Tomas, Libby Herlihy, and Agnes Agosta. And I see Kira back there, and I see one more person who I don't know, but she's wearing a lovely red sweater and she's doing a great job back there. Um, finally, I'd like to recognize a couple of performing students who were not in the program book, and that's uh, Joshua Tomasino Stewart, who's way over there in the saxophone section. I'd like to thank Snigda Reda Marapali, who's also not in the uh, program book, and Jackson Grove, way over there in the trumpet section, who's playing with us tonight. Yes, very good. Uh, so these performances are a wonderful culminating experience for your students. They've worked very diligently. They're very proud to show up their skills. But our main emphasis is really on the process of learning here. And it's on fostering musicianship in the context of this community. We focus on providing each student a pos uh, we focus on each student providing a positive contribution to the ensemble and as growth being far more valuable than flawlessness. Please take this time to appreciate what your child has to offer and um, as they all have played an important part in this performance.
As many of you know, Mrs. McDonald does double duty at fifth grade now, running our orchestra and our band, which we are eternally grateful for. I want to once again thank all of you for coming out tonight. I am Mrs. Bellello, the principal at Hopkins School, and I'm incredibly proud not only of all of our musicians here tonight, but also our educators. As I said at the fall concert, there probably is no job harder than being a music educator. And at fifth grade, to be a music educator and hear those squeaks and take students who've never held an instrument and bring them to where they are today is really quite incredible. At Hopkins School, we really have a lot of core values. Some of the most important ones are certainly respect. Learning to be a respectful audience is something all of our fifth graders are definitely working on and we're very proud of how they are responding to that challenge here tonight. It's a new experience to be an audience member and applauding your friends and classmates and I'm very proud of the way that all of them are behaving. We also talk about creativity as an important core value at Hopkins School and creativity is obviously being showcased here tonight. We know how important music education is to our children. And the final thing that I think music education does that's really special is risk taking. You take a lot of students and when they're very early and they're learning to read, we encourage them to take risks. But by fifth grade, it's a whole new risk to pick up something you've never done before. And I know that there are a lot of demands on our time as parents and I thank you all for encouraging your children to try picking up an instrument, whether it's their voice or joining one of our musical ensembles with instruments this year. If they continue, that's wonderful. We're excited to see what it brings in middle school and high school. But even if this is the end of that journey on this instrument, I know how valuable this is for them in their journey as students in the Hopkinton schools. And I thank you for supporting that. Um, if you've enjoyed seeing the performances tonight, I would like to encourage you to purchase our school's memory book this spring. It's on sale on HPTA online. Our incredible volunteers and our memory book photography team, obviously another way we encourage creativity. They've been taking pictures all year and you can get some great pictures of our ensembles during their practices as well. Those are on sale at HPTA online for $22 and it's a great way to give back to the school. We very much value our PA systems. They are critical, as Ms. Barkin can tell you, to making sure that these performances go off without a hitch. And those are the kinds of things that we can purchase through you supporting our schools in that way. But most importantly, thank you for supporting your students in this risk-taking, creative endeavor of picking up an instrument, whether it's a voice, a string instrument, or one of our band instruments. I am so incredibly proud, and I'm sure you are. And make sure that you re encourage your students to continue this into middle school, because if you see the high school ensembles, you know just how incredible they can become by high school. Thank you all for coming tonight. I know that there's a lot of demands on your time, and this is a really important one. Thank you.